Let's create this amazing paper cutout effect using Affinity Photo. Create a new file of your desired size in Affinity Photo. Import your paper texture. I will use this ripped brown paper texture downloaded from Freepik. You can find the link to download this texture in the description. Adjust the texture according to the canvas. For this effect, I will use the bottom ripped part of the texture. So, using the Rectangle Selection tool, I will select it and create a mask. Then, go to the Layers panel, right-click, then click on Merge Visible. Then, delete both the original texture and mask from the layers. Select everything except the middle ripped paper part using the Magic Wand tool. Decrease or increase the tolerance percentage for better selection. Use the Selection Brush if you cannot select properly with the Magic Wand tool. Then go to Select and click on Invert Pixel Selection to invert the selected area. Using the Selection Brush, remove everything other than the ripped paper part. Go to Select and click on Grow Shrink and shrink the selection to minus one pixel. Click on Mask Layer on the Layers panel to create a mask of the selection. Using the Brush tool and Mask, refine the edges of the ripped texture. Now create a duplicate of this layer and hide the original layer. Rasterize this duplicate layer. Now let's import our portrait image to the canvas. Resize and position the portrait on the canvas. Bring the ripped texture layer to the top. I'm going to place it here, make it larger, and rotate it a little. Create a duplicate of this paper layer. Position it according to the portrait. I'm going to flip it vertically and place it here and rotate it a little. Now, using the Polygon Selection tool, Select the part of the portrait that is in between these ripped paper layers. Select the portrait and create a duplicate. Mask this duplicate layer by clicking on Mask Layer. Deselect everything by pressing Ctrl plus D. Select the portrait layer with the mask and add a black and white adjustment. Play with the sliders until you get a satisfactory black and white effect. Create a new pixel layer above this masked layer. With this empty pixel layer selected, hold the control key and click on the mask from the layer below to get the selection. Now create a mask of the selection in this blank pixel layer. Select the blank pixel layer and, using the brush tool, 
Paint with a black color and a soft brush under the ripped paper texture to create shadows. Decrease the opacity of the shadow pixel layer if needed. And there you have it. With these steps, you've learned how to create a striking paper cutout effect on your portraits using Affinity Photo. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more Affinity Photo tutorials and creative photo editing techniques. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there are other effects or techniques you'd like me to cover in future videos.